Hey, welcome back to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And today, finally, after getting rid of uh, all my other uh, units that I had, um, I'm finally getting to this 2015 Polaris Scrambler 1000. Now, the story with this is the guy had big tires on it, and he was going through the swamp, hit a rock, Claimed that the shifter wouldn't work. Uh, shifter here is worn off, the gear part. Um, so I checked that out and so far I found a couple things. Um, the clutch was seized. I mean, I can push in that, it won't move anywhere. You can tell it's kind of messed up down there. I found out something interesting. On the 850s and the 1000, Primary clutch, the bolt has left-handed threads. So I didn't know that I was tightening it up, or, or uh, I thought I was tightening it, or I thought I was loosening it, and here I was tightening it. So did a little research, found out, found out the left-handed threads. The secondary is right-handed threads. So I also found out that the rear prop shaft, this is stiff, it won't even move. It's not free. No, this one's actually even stiff too. So originally I hoped it would was just like the belt and the clutch. You know, the belt is all chewed to crap. Um, I did manage to get this in gear. I just threw a vice grips on there, got it to shift. And when I did that, the shaft still isn't spinning. So that tells me either there's a broken chain in there or these are known for the uh, the shift shafts wearing out or breaking. So something's not engaging. So I'm on uh, two and a half hours so far tearing this apart. Took the exhaust off, took the plastics off. Um, these are bolted down for that prop shaft. I removed the cover and the clutches. And uh, with this off the ground like this, I actually had to Move this A arm up, pull the, uh, the shaft out, and lift it up in order to get the clutch out. It was kind of a bear. That's why I haven't videotaped any of this. I'm, this is a uh, first time for me. Um, I guess I didn't want to bore you with uh, things that uh, I'm learning along the ways myself. Uh, I got her pretty much figured out. So right now I'm just in the middle of taking this cover off. And I'll have to disconnect this hose clamp and any other hose clamps. Unplug the transmission over here. And then uh, at this, uh, I guess there's a bunch of bolts back here. So once I get them unbolted, I'll make sure I slide that off with it and the tranny should come right out. So, I guess I could uh, shoot some video while you guys are watching, but uh, right now I don't have my other camera here and my camera tripod, so right now I'm just taking this off. And there was a lot of mud and dirt, as I'm finding out in here. There's a bunch of bolts all the way around. And there's another one up there I gotta pull out. And of course everything on uh, the 2015 seems to be metric. Even the uh, the bolts holding in the, the shaft here was the number six uh, hex. <laughs> tell you, run to the hardware store trying to match that up was was kind of fun. All right, this should be about ready to come out. Still got to disconnect my hose clamp, which I'll do. But yeah, if you're uh, interested in seeing how this comes apart, stay tuned, and I'll I'll post another video on how I did it. Thanks for watching.